Our sun has a radius of about 700,000 kilometers. It's huge by our standards, right? Now imagine a star with a radius up to 10 billion kilometers, over 14,000 times the size of our sun. This star is so large and powerful that it holds a black hole within it. Scientists call these quasi-stars. They're believed to have existed in the early universe and are thought to be one of the most massive types of stars to have ever formed. They played a crucial role in the formation of supermassive black holes, which are essential for the development of galaxies, including our very own Milky Way. A quasi-star consists of an outer shell of gas that is thousands of times the mass of our Sun. At the core, there's a black hole. As the black hole consumes the star's material, it releases energy, creating an incredibly bright and powerful object. The black hole continuously feeds on the star's material, and the energy released from this process is what keeps the outer layers from collapsing entirely. Think of it like this. A quasi-star is a massive glowing bubble of gas with a black hole at its heart. The black hole acts like an engine, powering the star and keeping it stable despite its enormous size. It's a delicate balance, but one that results in one of the most powerful and luminous objects in the universe. Quasi-stars are absolutely mind-blowing when it comes to their scale. Let's compare it with a red giant, which is already one of the largest types of stars we know. A typical red giant can be up to 1,000 times the size of the sun, but a quasi-star, it's on an entirely different level, dwarfing even the largest red giants. Now, how do these giants form? The formation of quasi-stars is a fascinating process that takes us back to the very early universe, just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Quasi-stars are believed to form when a massive primordial gas cloud collapses under its own gravity. These gas clouds were incredibly dense and had a composition different from what we see in stars today, consisting mostly of hydrogen and helium. As this enormous gas cloud collapses, it leads to the creation of a supermassive star. We're talking about a star up to a thousand times the mass of our sun. But the story doesn't end there. As the core of this supermassive star becomes denser and hotter, it eventually reaches a critical point where it can't sustain itself. The core collapses into a black hole, which is the beginning of the transformation into a quasi-star. Now this is where things get really interesting. Instead of the star exploding in a supernova, like we see with many large stars, the outer layers of the star start falling into the black hole. This creates an envelope of gas around the black hole, which can be thousands of times the mass of our sun. The black hole at the center continues to feed on the star's material, generating immense amounts of energy. The intense gravitational pull of the black hole draws in the star's outer layers, creating a continuous cycle of material being consumed and energy being released. It's a balance of forces, gravity pulling in and energy pushing out. This energy prevents the outer layers from collapsing entirely, creating a stable but extremely luminous object, up to a billion times more luminous than the sun. Essentially, the black hole is powering the star, making it a quasi-star. Imagine it like a cosmic tug of war. On one side, you have the black hole's gravity pulling everything in. On the other, you have the energy generated by this process pushing outwards. This balance is what keeps the quasi-star stable, at least for a time. But all good things must come to an end, right? Quasi-stars are no exception. Despite their massive size and power, they have relatively short lifespans compared to other stars. Quasi-stars typically last only a few million years. In cosmic terms, that's like the blink of an eye. Remember, the more massive the star, the shorter its life. This short lifespan is due to the intense processes happening at their cores. The black hole at the center consumes material at an incredible rate, which speeds up the star's evolution. Over time, the black hole continues to grow as it feeds on the surrounding material. As the black hole gets larger, it consumes more and more of the star's outer layers. Eventually, the star's outer layers become too thin to support themselves. When this happens, the quasi-star can't maintain its structure, and the outer layers collapse into the black hole. This marks the end of the quasi-star's life, 
leaving behind a much larger black hole. So the quasi-star sacrifices itself to create a supermassive black hole. Think about it. A quasi-star is like a cosmic nursery for black holes. It starts off as an incredibly massive star, and through its short but intense life, it helps create some of the largest black holes in the universe. This process is crucial for the formation of supermassive black holes, which are key components in the development of galaxies. The black holes left behind by quasi-stars can seed the centers of galaxies, helping to shape their structure and evolution. But why do scientists care so much about these ancient giants? Quasi-stars are purely theoretical at this point. We haven't observed one directly, but their existence is supported by strong scientific theories and simulations. These stars give us a unique glimpse into the epoch when the first massive structures of the universe were forming. By studying these theoretical giants, scientists can infer the processes that led to the creation of the first supermassive black holes. Supermassive black holes are found at the centers of most large galaxies, including our own Milky Way. Understanding how these black holes formed can provide insights into how galaxies evolve. Quasi-stars are believed to be the progenitors of these supermassive black holes, making them key to unlocking these cosmic mysteries. Since we haven't had the chance to actually observe them, researchers use computer simulations and theoretical models to study quasi-stars. These models help scientists predict how quasi-stars would behave and how they might have influenced their surroundings. So while we may never see a quasi-star with our own eyes, the data and insights gained from studying them are invaluable. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.